recording for Kids First. And today, I'm here at the Disney Studios, Burbank, California, to talk to the cast and crew of the new Disney Plus series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Let's go. Hi, I'm Connor. Hi. Hi. Hello. Cool. Connor. <laughs> um, Walter, what was your favorite part about playing Percy? Uh, my favorite part about playing Percy was I got to do a lot of cool fights, like sword fights and stuff. I think that was really fun to do, and uh, I got to fight Edge Copeland. You wa you watch WWE? Uh, no, I I watched like up to episode episode four, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. I um, but I I episode five we talked to uh, Aries, meet him there, but um, I got a really cool sword fight with him, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Um, he's yeah. I was the next question is literally that. <laughs> um, like, what were what were some things you needed to prepare for, like sword fights and action scenes? Um, we all did a lot of training. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're very lucky to have like an incredible stunt team. Yeah. Eli, Trevor, Eli was good, everyone yeah. was like they knocked it out of the park with the yeah. choreography. And the Aries fight turned out it, like you yeah. killed it. That was really it was good. Great. All the fights are great, and yeah. uh, we we had such a great stunt team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really helped us build that. Um, Mm, if that makes sense. Yeah. Into the yeah. scenes. Um, so Leah, well, how was it like, like being in a show that like introduces Greek mythology? Well, I feel like um, it made me feel like I had oh wait, that's gonna sound really weird. Like it made me feel like I had like power. If that makes sense, like um, I know I wasn't Athena, like you know, playing this person. Oh, sorry, my apologies. Um, but. I think, like, um, you know, I've never had any um, show. So, yeah, really good question. I never had any, like. Dude, you've had some good questions yeah. so far. <laughs> I've never had any, like, shows with Greek mythology. So, coming into this really, like, and, like, this is my first show or any film with powers, really. So, you know, coming into this, um, it was super cool knowing what I can do in this and how it's going to be brought out to the world with like extra extra CGI and all the powers and things that's going to be used and the, and yeah stuff sorry um so you play a demigod like how is it playing like someone with powers like you said that's also you've been on fire today yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh for me yeah oh okay um playing a demigod knowing that I have powers like I've always wanted to be in uh, in some sort of film with powers. I just didn't think that it would come this quickly. So, yeah. like when I got the part for this and things, and I knew what she like what she always had on her that Yankees cap to yeah. have her go invisible. Like I was just like going around fangirling, like oh, I have powers. Like I know that sounds really weird, but like like um, telling my brother and my sister and stuff. Like I'm going over there and I'm like. I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, I don't think you understand, guys. I will be in a show with powers and stuff, like, um, filming that just, like, I know I didn't really turn invisible while filming because that's technically what? scientifically you impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, seeing it come to life after watching the episodes is just, like, really amazing and really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, uh, you play, like, um, Ari, you play, uh, like, Rover. Yeah. So, like, how is it like, like having CGI or like whatever that yeah. was? Um, yeah. Well, I, I'm goat from the waist down. So, what you don't see, you just see cargo shorts and then goat legs. I'm wearing these really tight Visifex like pants that go all the way, all the way down to my heels. And then over those, I'm over those. I'm wearing like extra cotton padding. And then over those, I'm wearing the cargo pants. And we spent like two months during prep like trying to teach me how to walk like a goat mm -hmm. and now I can't stop doing it <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun yeah so like those that like first layer of pants is that the stuff with like the the ping pong balls yeah yeah, yeah. so when they did like the full overlay test we, we got to see like a live overlay on how it would look like you know after editing and, and post for that they had the ping pong balls because they needed a much more accurate track like in the moment but Thankfully, during filming, I didn't have to have those ping pong balls on, but it was those pants with like the weird triangles and like the gray and black and green and yeah. stuff like that. Like the numbers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so what are you all like uh, most excited about for like the audience to see? 
Um, I'm excited for them to see how much work we're gonna we put into this. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the like, monsters too. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. CGI looks great. Um, I'm excited for people to see uh, the volume stage that we worked on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or if they can tell exactly. if we're on a volume <laughs> exactly. stage. Um, the volume stage is like a giant. How big is it? I don't know. It's like maybe a quarter of a football field. Yeah. Yeah. And oh my uh, God, yeah. a giant circle. It's huge. A giant oh circle of like TV screens around us and a TV screen on the ceiling. And so uh, it automatically looks like we're there. It's just awesome. And it feels like you're there, you know? Actually, one time some they had a scene pieces. where it was the full thing. Sorry, I mean. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, like, you're right. Yeah. In one scene, they had us walk through like this itty bitty door um, because they had the full wrap around yeah. of um, the volume stage. Now, that was really mm -hmm. trippy. That was, yeah. Oh, because they had us going to like this galaxy when we first got there. Yep. Yeah, Remember? Star Wars. Yeah, the Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. When we got there for the first time, they played a recording on the volume stage of like, you watch Star Wars? Yeah. You know when like they go into <laughs> obviously you know when they go into um, light speed and it does like the stars going really fast past them so and it's like cool. the white lights. They played that for us while we were um, on the volume stage, so we could see everything go past us, which is awesome. Sort of like doing moving like this because it was so yeah. much. Yeah, thanks for talking with me today. Yeah, thank yeah, you for course. having us. Thank man. you for having us, man. That's a wrap. Be sure to check out Percy Jackson and the Olympians on Disney Plus. It releases on December twentieth. 2023. Make sure not to miss any other other of my reviews and those of my colleagues. Bye.